Can't find love? Hmm. That day is over. With Just Eight Numbers, we can reveal all your secrets to sex and love. We call it Secrets of Birthdays, the Love and Lust Report. Find out the secret to your heart at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, my heroes, and welcome now to Tuesday, and thank you for logging in. Well, I think you are sunny, nesting, and resting. Rather private today for the Rams. The moon well into Scorpio now, so emotional focus continues to be on your trust and intimacy issues. You might be feeling a little vulnerable. You might be feeling a little weird and kind of whacked out because the sun and moon, the two of those, uh, those two planets working together today certainly make the Rams, I think, feel a little awkward. That's really what it's about. So today you are sensitive. Pamper yourself, lock the door, give yourself a little privacy, and only connect to the ones that you really trust without having to think about it, all right? So also a good time for intimacy, connecting to people or connecting to the other side at large. So if you want to connect to someone that's passed on or pray, this is a great time. You're, la you're naturally psychic today. Zip into the sun. We're at zero degrees. Cancer. And I always say zero means zero. We're in the no man's land, the twilight zone between two states of awareness. Moving out of the Gemini state of awareness and in now into the Cancer state of awareness. This does mean that for the next four weeks, you will be working on home, family, and foundation. This is the state of consciousness you use to self-nurture. How good are you at self-nurturing? Now, this state of consciousness began with childhood. So our families teach us how to self-nurture or don't teach us how to self-nurture. Or maybe we're taught that we have to take care of ourselves because they won't take care of us. So part of this transit is the examination of childhood or the examination of consciousness that's still running autopilot based on childhood. So you'll be facing childhood issues. You'll also be facing issues of self-nurturing. So things may happen to you this month that cause you to have to take care of yourself, cause you to be a good mommy to yourself. doesn't matter who you are, how old you are, you're still always getting better at that. This is also home issues, issues in the home. That's the area where we self-nurture. It's the hospital of self-nurturing. That includes roommates. That includes relocating. That includes leaky roofs or it also includes the air conditioner going out. All of the above. And in the first 10 days in chapter one, you're going to identify areas of self-nurturing state of awareness that need to, frankly, be repaired. So things will fall apart, break apart, etc. in the first 10 days. And one thing I do want to mention, a lot of people write me, do I do personal readings? Yes, I do personal readings. I'm available on Skype or over the phone. It's one-on-one -on -one and it is literally mercury blowing, mind blowing experience. So if you're ready to change your life, you might consider a reading. If you want to know more, I do have a video about it. It's at livelovebee.tv. All right, Ram, that's all I have for Tuesday. Tomorrow I'm back to talk about a nasty opposition between the sun and Pluto. Those details in 24, live, love, be. So